hello mulies in this session we shall know about high level details about vm connector so we shall see what all operations are present in vm connector as well as we shall see uh, how it behaves with each operation okay for high level details and detailed information you can go to docfast.docs.mulesoft.com vm connector 2.0 version here you can see you know uh, so basically what is vm connector is uh, it acts like a queue in front of you within the application or we uh, you know or intra applications so usually jms there is another connector for us called you know jms but jms is for you know third party queue messaging queues you drag and drop jms over here so we require like third party thing okay like you know active mq rabbit mq it just act like a queue so vm connector is something within mulesoft itself uh, we can you know uh, uh, we can manage the messages to go around within intra i mean inter application or intra application so it acts as a messaging queue okay so for more information you can read this uh, document which is very clear and i'll show you what kind of operations that are present in vm and how does it work okay so here you can see vm we have like four operations like consume listener publish cons publish consume so we shall see one by one what is the difference all right so <clears throat> first uh, let me drag and drop some publish okay publish operation so for now what i am doing is i am setting a payload value like 10 okay and in publish uh, let me show you so publish for now if i drag and drop these are the default things which you can see right so first things you need to do is you need to create a global element for vm okay uh, here you can see the options right queues so you can click on edit in line i can and you can add as many queues as you want you can use your queue names okay just like you know in J, jms connectors like in active mq or, uh, or we have all another connector called any point mq uh, which acts like you know messaging queues so there we see like queue names and all so here you can create your own queues okay so you can give your uh, queue name as something like vm1 and you can choose your queue type as transient and transient or per persistent so here you can see more about in the documentation transient queues are faster than persistent queues but they are not reliable when i say when they say like not reliable so whenever the application is restarted or something you will lose the messages whereas persi persistent queues are slower but they are like more reliable okay you can just uh, go through this documentation for more information for now i am going with transient uh, option which is like default one okay click on finish likewise you can create as many queues as the, you want okay so vm2 because this is a global uh, configuration right you can mention as many queue names as you want okay just click on okay so this is a public operation and i wanted to send the payload or uh, so this is my payload so whatever i am setting here over here like the value 10 i am publishing over here okay next thing is uh send correlation id if you want to send it you can always send it you can set this correlation id value so mulesoft has this uh, good uh, feature of having correlation unique id that we can send for every request okay for each request we can generate a unique id that is nothing but correlation id it helps us to track keep track of each message individually next thing is here you want to publish a message to which queue right so just refresh it and you can see in the drop down you can see the two names which we have configured in global element right here if you go to global elements the vm configuration that we have added you can see here right vm and v2 vm1 and vm2 you can see that in this drop down so select like for example vm1 for now okay this is pretty much uh, simple okay what will happen you are saying you wanted to publish to this particular queue isn't it so let's see what will happen if you are not consuming or if there is no queue which is listening to it okay my application is already in a debug mode okay my application is started now let me send my request so, let's test okay let me show you how to debug this next 
current payload value is 10 okay here in the logger i am just trying to print saying like you know uh, here in my logger i am saying like before publishing to uh, vm publish i am i am printing the payload all right next you can see you can see here you know the message is getting published we are getting a success message we are not getting any error that means the message has been published to the vm1 queue though we are not listening it has been published so here you can see so this publish operation is acting as a asynchronous mode okay when i say asynchronous mode it will not wait for the response or what is happening over in that queue okay it just pushes the message that's what any queue access like you know any queue is for the same purpose right when you are publishing something you'll just publish and forget it okay then whatever happened inside that queue you are not bothered about that now what we can do is so we let us drag and drop a listener over here okay and give a name called vm1 all right let me put a debugger point over here okay save it let's see what will happen okay my application is started all right so here you can see you are not receiving any message so what it will do is it, it just got published so now what you can do is you can send the request again see how it behaves okay next next okay you are publishing it okay but it will not directly listen here because it is asynchronous i said right so when you go over next it will go to the logger then you can see the same message will be coming over here because you have published your message to vm1 q okay the previous message we are not listening so it is not happening so you can see vm1 okay so the same thing in the listener we have we are calling this vm1 q so you are getting the same thing over here one more thing that you need to observe before going further here is in console if you check the loggers right if you check the loggers here you can see before publishing to vmq the payload is 10 after publishing to vmq the payload is 10 here that means the payload will not alter because i am just using publish operation not publish consume operation so the value will still be 10 okay here you can see the same payload which we are sending over there right in the content here you will be receiving that payload what i am doing here is i am uh, altering the payload to 20 okay you can see my value as 20 and let me resume it you can see in the console so you can see before publishing to vmq the payload is 10 the second log that is printing is the, this one okay then the third one is nothing but uh, the before message received from vm listener still here the payload is 10 and finally after message received from this logger prints the payload is 20 so this is how it behaves so you should be very careful or you should understand the concept of vm like this okay so whenever publish is happening it is asynchronous now what i'll try to do is i'll remove publish and i'll give publish consume what will happen in this case okay so i'll use vm1 same one okay let me save it let it restart okay my application got restarted now see how it behaves okay so publish consume is synchronous that means it will wait okay you can see here now i am sending the message to vm okay it will go to this one it is not going to this logger okay because it is still waiting for this process to complete you can see now my payload is 10 okay next next 
uh, it is giving a timeout exception because I am in debug mode. So just give me a second. Let me remove this debugger point. Okay. So here you can see the timeout is like five seconds. So let me increase the timeout five seconds. Okay, I'll keep it as 50 seconds for now because I wanted to show you the so publish consume synchronous things you should be very careful when you are uh, uh, you know configuring uh, timeout exceptions because if it is taking more time uh, to receive the response then it might fail because of timeout exceptions all right so let me wait for the application to get deployed again okay got deployed let me send the request okay now you can see f6 f6 okay so let me show you the console my current value is before publishing to vm the payload is 10 now now you can see after publishing it will not go to the this logger but it will go to the listener because it is publish consume it is synchronous okay next here now my payload is getting overridden with 20 okay you can see here it's 20 now see the value that is coming over here in the this particular debugger you can see my value of payload is 20 that means it is altering okay now when you when you just run over okay you can see the value is 20 and you should check this log so that you can understand the scenario here you can see before publishing to vm publish the payload is 10 this log is nothing but the one which we are listening over here and uh, here you can see after message is publishing is 20 and here you can see after publishing value is 20 so this is how it behaves when we are using publish publish consume kind of things so whenever they ask any questions even in certificate certification point of view it is very important it's a simple logic the name itself publish and publish consume just imagine and see whatever payloads are coming and uh, what is the things uh, you need to do uh, and just try to give the proper answers it's pretty simple uh, you have to understand there is another thing uh, called consume so what you can do is like, consume is like unless and until if you want to uh, check what are the messages present for example let me remove this okay let me remove this and uh, let me remove publish consume i'll just publish okay i'll just publish to vm1 let me put some messages into vm1 okay so for now i'm here let me use the same vm1 and i should have a listener right because this is consumer uh, this particular flow should be triggered by somehow okay so here let me give test one something like that okay save it let the application get deployed okay your application is started send the message this is just a published one so let me remove this let me just run it over okay you can again cross check the logs that we are getting so the both payload value is 10 10 and you are getting 10 now what is this consume what does this consume operation does let me keep a debugger point over here let me run this listener point okay you can see my request will be coming over here okay and if you go over You can see the value is 10 so whatever the message previously we have sent it was stored in vm1 queue and the same message we are receiving over here payload value as 10 okay so let's resume it okay you can see 
okay my listener is having java so what i can do is i can just go to my listener and it is basically a value 20 okay so let me just keep it as output application json you can also keep it in set payload but you have different ways i just wanted to show you like you have different ways to code okay so let me save it let it get deployed Okay, it got deployed so let me send the message sorry let me send this payload value twice and see how it behaves okay even i don't know how it behaves so always i tell to developers that keep practicing or keep you know uh, do doing POC so that you'll know more okay this is the first message that i have published to that queue let me send it again okay done so i have sent twice now let's see what will happen when we are trying to consume a message okay so let me go over this consume okay you can see you are having one payload value here okay so you are getting only once so let's see what is the value you are getting 20 because we are over reading so let us send the request again so next you can see payload value 10 again okay you are consuming you are sending again okay you are getting 20 now now next if you send okay here it is giving error because try to consume message from vmq but it was empty okay so what happened previously is we have sent so what i can do is i'll just remove this set payload here okay i'll try to send different values so basically consume message it is by default taking one message at a time okay So let me send different values. Application got deployed. Test. Let me send the body. Application JSON. I'll send like Sravan. For the first time, I'll send this. Okay. I'm getting Sravan as output. Next mule soft okay i'm sending the request you can see sravan and mule soft are sent currently now what i'll try to do is i'll try to call this api test one for the first time in consume message you can see sravan is we are getting sravan as uh, the message from consumer okay next thing which i wanted to show you is for the second time okay it will show MuleSoft. Okay, so you can see here, right? MuleSoft. So this is how consume works. If you send for third time, it will error out because there are no message present in that VM1 queue. Okay, it wait for five seconds and checks if there are any messages. So make sure that if you are using consume operation, you are handling the errors that whether messages are present or not okay this is all about vm you can see that we are having four kind of operations and we have covered all four operations in this particular session consume listener publish publish consume hope you like this session